Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Arcanize, or Everest here, back with another video for you guys. Hope you're all having a fantastic day, because it is Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you all, and Disney Plus has kind of gone all out today to make it a real Star Wars event, and I'm so happy that they have done this, because it's been great today watching two things. Star Wars The Clone Wars coming out with their series finale, the end of one of the more beloved cartoons of all time, I would say, and it's been such a big part of my life and has helped make Star Wars my favorite universe in pop culture because it's been such a great show with tremendous character arcs and when Clone Wars is great, it is Star Wars at its best, and that is what this series finale was. It was everything I wanted from it, a perfect conclusion. It plays off of our emotions and what we already know, our knowledge about Star Wars and Order 66 to carve this emotional, yet still with some fun action. And Darth Maul is in here and is great, but it caps off Ahsoka's arc. We already know what happens to Obi-Wan and Anakin. This plays from Ahsoka's point of view and what happened with her, and it's so beautiful. The shot of her in her cloak, recognizing the clones who fought for her throughout the war, who then turned on her, putting them up all on stakes with their helmets to honor them. It was so beautiful, and then you get to the epilogue with Darth Vader, and I think that was when he kind of really realized he had lost everything, and it was just, it was such a beautiful episode, and I could not be happier with it, it was, it, they did such a good job, thank you Dave Filoni for everything you did with Clone Wars, especially these last four episodes, the first eight, they don't count, I'm not including them, but these last four, this kind of movie almost, oh my god, it was so great. And then, we also got the first episode of The Making of the Mandalorian, this documentary series. And it was great. It was wonderful. It was so chill. And it was enjoyable. I learned new things. And it was just fun to sit with the family and watch some more Mandalorian content. This focused on all of the directors and the directing and how basically like seven people pulled this thing together. It had John Favreau, Dave Filoni, Bryce Dallas Howard, Taika Waititi, and focused on all of them and their differences and their strengths and how they bonded together to make this season that I love. I love The Mandalorian Season 1, and everything they talked about was so interesting, and I just love being pushed back into the Star Wars world. Then, also, The Rise of Skywalker, if you're interested, is dropping on Disney Plus today. It's out there, so you can go see it. Shout out to Disney Plus, man, for making this a true Star Wars experience. I had been watching some of the Star Wars movies leading up to this, kind of rekindle my love, and it's just been great. But Clone Wars finale, could not be more happy. It was, it was great. And then... I'm excited for the rest of this documentary series because it really was fun. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you are new, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out. Can I be your superhero?